Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Sorry for the gap in uploads. I recently moved into a new apartment in between finishing summer classes and starting a new engineering job. Life has been pretty busy as of recent. Today, what I have for you is a follow up to my popular mutant base, which is titled the Mutant 2.0. And I've tested this base extensively, both on build servers and actual wipes and had a number of reputable builders review it. This base costs roughly 191,000 stone, which is roughly 6.3 boxes of stone, 101,000 wood, which is 3.3 boxes of wood, and 126,000 metal fragments, which is 4.2 boxes of metal frags. It also has a cost of 567 HQM, and the upkeep is roughly 35,000 stone, 22,000 metal, and 112 HQM split across 7 TCs. This base features three bunkers that are built into the open core, and it is roughly 30 rockets to the open core, not counting how much it would take to actually break into all the bunkers, which is an additional 46 rockets at the minimum just to raid the bunkers. With all this being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I love responding to comments and I always appreciate the feedback. So thank you. All right, guys, to kick this off, I'm gonna start with the base tour. So coming towards the base, you're met with a London Tokyo style airlock, just to peek onto the outside of your walls. Then you come into your starter compound, which is where early batteries will be placed, as well as depot loot. Then you have this optional second compound here that you can put on. And there are turret spots over here. And heading into the base, we have three entrances on three sides. So we'll pick this side over here. You come in. This ladder hatch airlocks front door. You have some kind of ghetto reach peaks. And continuing up one more. That takes you on to a bedroom and what will be your internal peaks. Going back down, we're now in the first shell of the base. On three sides, we have a little chute that you can get up. So if you open this, this garage door here, you just go up this ladder, and I'll take you right onto your internal peaks. It's a quick way to flank enemies. Coming around this shell, you just gotta find the entrance to the actual core. Now going into the core, you're met with a string of doors. And right here, you can stand on top of this tier three and actually get a really nasty door peek in the event of an online. And recently I've been doing my loot rooms like this. You just gotta always make sure you keep a small box nearby with windows ready to place. Uh, it's kind of a good way to make loot rooms more functional as honeycomb if you were to get cored. But of course, if you don't think that you're going to remember to put the windows on, you can just go with a double door or a garage door. Continuing up the base, we're now on the second floor. You have another loot room here. If we go off to the side here, this is where your TC will be, as well as an early battery. All of these little honeycomb areas can be filled with furnaces for early game. And continuing up, we have again another peak using a tier bench. And going up, this will be where you put your beds down to start. And early into the game, this will act as like a early, early shooting floor operating out of this. You can go up this way right into the open core, or we can go out these airlock single doors. And this is your internal peaks that you have here. And on three sides, you have a bedroom that goes down to the front entrance. Day shoots, and on the other three sides, this will take you to the rest of the base. Right here, we have an early game shooting floor. It's more or less just kind of a pillbox, I would like to call it. It's a good way to pop out on enemies and then defend them online. Going up, this takes us on to our open core level. We have another set of airlock single doors and a drop down to surprise raiders. Around your internal peaks. Going into the open core, it's just a standard circle open core. You have retakes here and bunkers on three sides. To open the bunker, what you can do is take a twig roof and place it right here. And that will open your bunker. And again, you have three bunkers. To continue up the base, what we're going to do is continue back 
got into the open core. On three sides, you can go up. And hitting up another level. This takes us onto our main bed floor, where we're going to be able to peek into our open core. And all of this, uh, all the honeycomb here, is usable. But it's back to the floor. So that's where I put the lockers, batteries. Uh, on three sides, this will take you out onto your shooting floor, which is wide gapped, and also features a roof peak. Going back into the base, we go to one of the other entrances. This will give you another roof peak right here goes away out onto the roof. Up here we have turret pods and of course plenty of roof peaks from every angle as well as spawn points up here for either two beds or three sleeping bags to be able to spawn and surprise raiders. And that is it for this. Let's get into this build. To build this base you're going to start with double triangle circle. And you're gonna pick one side to be your entrance. So say it's this side. You're gonna start with a single door frame, a window. And then you're just gonna fill out the rest. Opposite of where the front door is, you're gonna put a jump up. Make sure you have the hard side facing into the jump up so that raiders can't pick down onto this floor. And on this side, we're gonna have two loot rooms, as well as on this side. You have one living room here, and then this can be for furnaces, and this will be your jump up. On your second floor, we're going to do another style of defensible jump up. We're going to go across from the jump up again. Put that right there. And the rest we're going to fill in. You should be able to rush straight to the second floor and put your TC back here. Normally I like to put the TC either here or right here. So it shouldn't be much of an issue getting to the second floor and not having a TC on the first floor. Right here is another spot for furnaces, as well as right here. And then this will become another loot room. This will be a string of doors to your TC. We put a roof on all of this. And once you get to this point, you can either finish this floor or start the externals. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna finish this floor. Uh, make sure you do not put a roof on here because we will eventually add a ladder hatch. But for early game, you can just put a double door and it will prevent raiders from jumping down from the roof. Opposite of this, you're gonna add another one of those. And to the right of the doors, we're going to put an airlock with single doors. And the rest can be windows. And again, we're just going to put a roof on all of this.
Uh, one trick, place the beds. A good way is just to put the windows or the door windows here first. Otherwise, sometimes the beds will overlap and you won't be able to place these. And you just got to stand in the window in order to place all the beds. And then you can come through and of course put your embrasures on this. And this will act as kind of an early, early game shooting floor. And will allow you to defend your base while you're putting the compound and externals up. Going through to look what the deployables look like, it look, should look a little something like this. Once you get to this point in the base, it's time to start the externals. So what we're gonna do is double turn on symmetry on three sides and do it twice for you guys. And what we're gonna do is go out nine on each side. So this will be twig. We have to lead everything back, keeping the last square. Or this could be a triangle. You're gonna do a triangle, half moon, build back. You're gonna keep the three that are centered around the side of the base. Let's do it one more time. Now to fill in these gaps right here, you're going to have to continue in the same pattern. So if I go to the left here, I'm going to build to the left over on this side too. I want to make sure that the gap is on the same side as all of the other ones. You can do a square and keep these two triangles right here. And again, we started on the left, we're going to start on the left here again, so we'll do a square and two triangles. Now to put the wide gaps up or to put the externals and compound down, it's very, very simple. You're gonna go out six, leaving this twig, or five, and the sixth one is gonna be over TC is gonna be. So one, two, three, four, five. And this last one can be left stone. This is where your TC is gonna go. And to build the gatehouse, just come off two more triangles. And do your London Tokyo style gatehouse right here. And then I put a solid wall right here because I will turn this section right here into a little battery or depot compartment. So for the batteries, I want to put batteries on three sides. I'm just leave it like that and slap the battery right there. And you're again gonna repeat this on the other three sides. So we got five twig. And then place a six one is stone.
Once this is placed, you can go ahead and put your compound down. This should all happen within the first 20 to 30 minutes. Your team is bringing you enough resources to keep constantly building. This should all be very manageable with even a six man group. A good way of placing externals is just try and put center the wall on the base. And we're going to try and clip it right through the middle of that embrasure. One more time on the side. And then as you see right here, this will not perfectly fit. Flare it out. Now you can start placing large furnaces. If you're going to place them without doing the second compound early, I would just recommend you put them as far back as possible. Now if you get to this point, you're sitting pretty good. Okay, the base is all connected. So what we're going to do now is you can actually upgrade these last two sides, these two squares connected. And we're going to pick our three sides that we want to be entrances. So this is in line with the front entrance. Just for ease of durability, I like to do one of the entrances the same uh, side as the entrance to work. Start with a single door, two windows, the rest are just the This base is wide gap, so in order to connect the wide gaps back to the base, you're going to make sure that you want to put a half wall with the section on all six sides, just like that. Next, what we're going to do is go to airlock the front door. And if you have ladder, if you want to do ladder hat jump ups, or you can just do a standard jump up, do something like this, taking that all the way up. But if you want to be able to fit a bed on your shooting floor level, you do have to do ladder hatches. And I like that ladder hatches will airlock this front door as well. We're going to do ladder hatches on the three sides of the entrances. We're going to raise this up, two windows, and make it even. Again, put another ladder hatch here. On the other sides, just come through and honeycomb it. And then do not place the second uh, wall right here. Not yet, at least. Just leave it one high. And you can place frames one high for now, too. Well, the base is looking a little something like this. We can either connect our wide gaps, not really necessary to do right now. Um, normally, what I would do is try and get your internal piece. Do that. What we're gonna do is build a 
the floor. One low here. And it's important that you connect it to the main core of the base. That way they don't crack. Okay, there's a gap on the side. The bridge is out of the half. These are all temporary. Then we're gonna put raised ramp and low ramp. You delete these here. The ramp should stay. All right. We're gonna do that again on the side. This is from the front door. We know that this side will not go any higher. We can go ahead and add our door here and a window. You can do that here. There we go. Now, as in the tour, if we come up this side, if this is the front entrance, this will stop here. So that means that these sides will be taking you to open core. And if we're in open core, you know, if we turn left, this should be a drop down. So this will not be a grenade shoot, so we can make it even. We should put a floor on it. To the right, though, of where you will jump up into open core, this will be a grenade shoot. In order to add this grenade shoot, what you're gonna do is add a half wall. And then in order to place the ramp, you're gonna to wanna to add another half wall to stand on top of it. That'll allow you to add a triangle roof right here. You're gonna delete this, give it a twig, and you will finish sealing that off. Just like that. And now, once we have that finished, we need to think about um, which sides we want to have the ladder hatches or the, uh, the ladders to the garage doors for flanking raiders. And I think it's probably smoother if you don't do it on the side that has the roof protruding. So we're going to say this side is going to have the, the ladder that leads to the garage door right here. So set a frame for that, garage door on. And on this side, we're just going to put And of course, you can cap that off now. This side, we're not going to have that at all. So we can just go ahead and add the windows. You can actually get rid of this one, just something like that. This should make that peak right here even better. Now, on this side, this is the floor that we're going to be adding that pill box or that early game shooting floor. So, what we're going to do is delete this wig. And now, from these two squares that we have upgraded, do a circle with triangles and put two squares. This is a wide gap now. And on these corners here, we're just going to put a square, two triangles, and make sure you connect it with the frame right in the middle there. Repeating that, keep these two squares, ring of triangles. Add this one as well. Now this is not connected as of right now, so what we're going to end up, what we're going to do is make sure you build this middle one up two frames high and make sure you upgrade it early. And we're going to take this where it is flat here, we're at a frame, and a half wall. 
now replace the half wall here, you should be able to connect these through. And I like to put just a normal one or a normal floor. If you don't, if you're worried about someone soft siding it for some reason, uh, you could of course just raise this. And that'll get rid of this half uh, half wall right here, and you can do another frame. But I just think it's easier to do it this way. And if you did not build this too high and upgrade it, you're not going to be able to place this this frame right here once you connect it. So make sure that you do that. Repeating that. It's too high. And now once again, the base is connected. And let's build these frames up too high on all sides. There you go. Now on these three sides, we're gonna put a single door. Or a double door. I like the single door because it kind of cuts off the angles that gives you a spot you can hide behind. And we're gonna add this little pillbox here. You can put a ramp on it too. There you go. Great compound angles, especially for an early raid. These can be a lifesaver. Let's wall the rest off. and make our jump ropes. On the grenade shoots, just put a roof on it. Add something like this. Put the turrets here as well. When you are connecting this, make sure that you connect it to the outside so that the externals are upkeeping it. Make sure we do that. Then I connect it to the right, or just to the left. And just keep these level. And on this side, you know that we're coming up here, turning, and this will be a drop down right here. So. Let's go add that in real quick. There you go. All right, now that we're on this floor, go ahead and put a wall on all, all the way around. up here. Continue that jump up one more. Take our garage door path around with us. And let's start thinking. So coming through here, this is going to be just a normal living room. These are going to be our bunker rooms. So let's add let's drop down here first. And sometimes getting this to place can be a little bit of a pain, so get it that way. Because you won't be able to do it from this angle. Gap. That makes sense. This corner here is just honeycombed. And this is the back side of your bunker, so it's probably a smart idea if you have any metal sitting around, go ahead and metal this honeycomb. Set our bunkers in now. Add the bunker in. This is how we're going to open it on this side right here. So we're going to have hard side facing out. Great armored. Great 
Lord Armored. And connect the roof to the, this wall right here. So the armor. And this, I left it as sheet metal because um, it will trigger a found or uh, what's it called? If this was left as sheet metal, it kind of creates a conditional so that raiders can't ladder up and actually loot it through the little gap here. This is what your bunker's going to look like. There are some gaps, so if you do have a box right here, uh, they would be able to loot it. So you just got to lock it. And to test if that worked, you can drop a floor below and add our twig roof in. And of course, the bunker did work, so we should be good. For consistency, let's connect this wall to the front as well. Even though on the other sides, they will be connected to the back. Here. Uh, by now you probably should have replaced this with garage doors and you can add the ladder hatches in here as well which i know can be a little bit of a pain but it just gives you more options to get up to your open core maybe. now we go ahead and add this middle section in this is what Turrets and shotgun traps will go. We want to always make sure that we put a shotgun trap underneath our bunker as well. This will close it if a raider comes by and the bunker is open. The shotgun trap will be hiding behind the twig and will actually close it. And then above where the bunkers are at is where we're going to have our peaks into the open core. So I wanted to see through, if the peak is up here, I wanted to see through this middle section. So I'm going to put the windows on these three sides. Leave this side open so that you can peek in there. And your tier three can go here and some vending machine loot rooms. Uh, here you can add ramp loot rooms, of course. That's looking pretty good. Let's continue up another floor. Peaks. So, not gonna seal it off just yet. So, again, this is where the bunker is at. That's where we're gonna put windows. Windows on six sides. The other sides, we need to connect. So, we're gonna leave at least one of them half walls. Then we can start building this on. Not be able to upgrade this. I want to make sure you have metal on handy. And then this is our actual roof. So. And again the reference point of coming up our jump up. This is where your lockers are going to be and since you cannot place a frame here in the middle to divide off this floor you want to make sure you place this frame here and put garage doors or double doors. As a builder I prefer double doors especially in groups because people are more likely to close the double door and in my opinion a closed double door is always better than an open garage door. 
garage band. And from this jump up over here, um, this is going to take us continue up to our roof. So add the roof peak. You're going to put a half wall, and then a window on top of that. And bring this all up to the same level. The shooting floor is going to be on this level, so don't worry about making sure that this is a wall. It's just a honeycomb. You can fit a locker in here, or batteries, or furnaces, or whatever you want, really. Bridges. Window there. Same thing over here. There you go. This side right here that didn't come from the jump up is going to lead out onto our shooting floor. Double door here, make that path. If you value having more room to walk around on your shooting floor, you can also just leave one double door here and not have it airlocked. I like having it airlocked, so that's why I did that. And this is where another locker can go. And on the sides that peek onto into your open core, uh, you can fit boxes up here, and you can fit four beds right here as well. It'll peek right into your open core. So you have amazing angles. All right. So now that we're here, we're gonna want to actually either put the roof on or get someone building these frames up. trick so that raiders can't stand on top of your roof and shoot you while you spawn on your bed. So you connect frames, or stone frames here to the inside, connect your metal floor, connect to the outside. That will fill in the gaps. There's no multi-decent gaps here. How you add roof entrances, as well as now you have turret pods as well. And by putting a horizontal embrasure right here, you see a great peak on your roof. Now, the other thing missing is our actual shooting floor, so let's go ahead and build that up now. On the sides where there's three frames, this is literally just going to come up and match the shooting floor level. One below it. One below it. <clears throat> and on these sides, Hello? on these sides, it will stop one, one level short. See how that is. Go ahead and add these in. You're gonna want to make sure that these are metal, as well as as soon as you get the metal, it's always a great idea to upgrade these frames here. Let 
Make sure you're still able to place a frame here. If you can't, then if I make sectioning off your peaks a little harder. There we go. And on these corner pieces, we're gonna build one full wall here. And one half wall. Or there. This would be where your window goes. Put a frame in the middle. Add that like so. Sorry, I'm late for parking up. Keep people from laddering up. You just put the walls here. Also acts as another peak in your compound. And these will be turned into roof peaks. And doing that once more. We're gonna bring it up to be one level lower. Half wall and full wall. And then put triangles. Match the level. Go ahead, put your low walls. Windows. We're gonna put a frame in the middle in order to place these two triangles here and add a roof peak. The rest of the shooting floor you can push up the windows. There you go. At this point, the base is pretty much almost done. We can go ahead and throw our braziers on. And do whatever kind of style of roof that you like. I, I like ramps, so. Or roofs. So let's just go ahead and throw those in. These corners you can put the ones. Next, another thing you can do is on these sides here. We gotta pull these frames up. And create a little pod. They can just place netting here to climb up. You can either fit two beds or three sleeping bags. Definitely trying to get as many people a bed into one of these as you can. If someone lands on this roof, if they can get past the turrets, then there's plenty of peaks for you to be able to defend the raid. And lastly, you want to put your uh, windmills up. Just build a three high. And third windmill right here. There we go. And then depending on how much wood you guys have, or if you want to, you can actually double compound this very, very cheaply. We're gonna turn where we connected the wide gap into an extra gatehouse. And I personally love this feature about this space. Do that on this side as well.
a little scuffed. It's not perfect, but it's job done. And this is why I recommend putting the furnaces as far back as possible. So you have plenty of room to add the second compound end. And gives you a very nice spot to add furnaces, uh, smelt sulfur. And for everything I just built, the cost is looking, the cost is going to be uh, 244,000 stone, 63,000 wood, and 52,000 metal fragments. Now, if you want to upgrade more as you build, instead of building, I built, you know, a lot in stone, you could upgrade a lot of this to metal right away. Like all these floors, you might want to make metal jump ups on all these sides definitely gonna want to make these metal as well and here's the base if you have any other questions on how i place the deployables or how i upgrade this base uh, the builder sanctuary code will be in the description so hopefully this video helped you guys um, Kind of help visualize the order in which i build bases starting with the starter then rushing the compound trying to get turrets early as possible and then building internal peaks open core and then finally your shooting floor and roof and hopefully you guys liked it if you guys like like comment and subscribe and let me know if this is the style of bases you guys want or if you want more vital bases or even smaller bases. Thank you, and I appreciate all the support.